Thank you very much, Ernie Johnson. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and all-star Joe Nathan is on to finish off the game for the Twins. 3-1 is your score with Teixeira, Rodriguez, and Matsui coming up. Well, Nathan has Mariano Rivera type numbers 47 saves, 89 strikeouts, and only 68 and two thirds innings pitched. Only given up 42 hits in those innings. The New York Yankees this year, 25 wins in their last at bat at home. That ties the major league record that happened in 1959 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And with all the thunder coming up, Teixeira is a critically important man for Nathan to retire in a two run game. Teixeira has popped up three times tonight. He's 0 for 7 in the series. And a line drive into the right field corner. Leadoff man on for the Yankees. Teixeira, a clean single to right. The Yankees beat Joe Nathan here in New York on May the 15th. He allowed three runs, three hits, and two thirds of an inning, and two walks. And now, Alex Rodriguez represents the tying run. What a stop by Mauer. Well, Nathan has been outstanding all season long. He has not allowed a home run for the runner on base this season. Two balls, no strikes. According to the Twins postseason media guide, Nathan has really struggled, too, in division series play. Six games, no wins, two losses, five earned runs, and six innings. strike zone. Well, very interesting pitch selection from Nathan. He's throwing a curveball in the dirt. Two sliders. Maybe sensing that A-Rod is the person he does not want to face. Be interesting to see the 3-0 pitch here. Can't pitch around a batter at this point. Not if you're the closer. And not with the left hand hitting Matsui on deck representing the potential winning run if A-Rod reaches. had three walk-off wins in a row against this Minnesota ball club. A stretch of play that Joe Girardi told us was one of the biggest turning points of this Yankee season. But Fifteen walk-off wins for New York this year. What it does to a ball club ship is that it lets you feel as though you are never out of a ball game. And you can sense it here. Fly ball center field. Well hit. At the track. He's done it again. Still nobody out. And Nathan has not been close.
One ball, one strike. It just makes you wonder if the ghosts have crossed the street. Popped up. The left side of the infield, Brendan Harris camps out. Well, you can see he gets full extension on that fastball. The thing about Alex Rodriguez when he's right, there's no ballpark. I don't care right field, left field, right center, or left center. But he can't hit the ball out of him. Curtain call in October, in postseason. Not a lot of those for A Rod. But five runs batted in in this series already. New stadium, new dynasty. New postseason year for Alex Rodriguez. Here's Nick Swisher. He takes a strike. Swisher wrapped up the Twins top of the inning with a sliding catch that ended that frame. Nathan must not like his fastball tonight. Majority of pitches, sliders, and curveballs. Teixeira let off with a hit. Alex Rodriguez put one in the Yankee bullpen to tie it up here in the ninth. Tracks it down. Swisher hit that one very, very well. But two outs. Well, the difference with that is that this fastball, again, right down the middle, like it was to Alex Rodriguez. The difference was Swisher hit more of a line drive there, not able to carry out in this ballpark. Two in, two out for Robinson Cano, who's one for three. The Twins have led in every game they have played in this ballpark this year. Regular season, postseason. They have yet to win. At New Yankee Stadium. Slap towards short. And Cabrera to an knee make sure. And that retires the side. A curtain call for Alex Rodriguez. A mammoth home run into the Yankee pen in right center. Ties the game. Three to three. We go to the 10th inning. 